What's good y'all? Hope you're having a wonderful Christmas morning. So today we have roughly 18 hours, maybe 15, no like, yeah, like 18 hours of growth. One of my viewers said use a card and to figure out your, your um, hair growth direction. So, so that, that's basically kind of where my hair grows it seems. But um, still playing with that. Uh, for the razor, we got a brand new razor to the den. This is the Blackland Saber. I'm actually in love with this handle. I thought it would be too chunky from the pictures, but it fits perfectly in the hand, very comfortable. And these indentations are pretty grippy. It could just kind of rest under my pinky here as I go across my face. Now this is a gem style razor. I've never tried a gem style razor before. But um, this is Jeremy Tyler's GOAT, uh, the Traveling Shaver. He has a YouTube channel. Um, he loves this razor. So this is the level two gap with the 0.9 millimeter gap. This is level two um, base plate with a 0.9 millimeter gap. Sorry about that. Um, Shane from Blackland Razors did something innovative um, with this razor that he brought over to the Blackland Vector. He put the threading as like a rectangular threading and it looks like he made it extra long so it wouldn't have any issues locking into the razor. So as you can see here, there's two dots for the level two base plate. The level one is 0.6 millimeters, which I hear is very mild. So hopefully I like this one. So we'll load this up. Like I said, I use this gem style. This is a persona. So I think we're just gonna line it up like so. Cool. I don't know if I told you guys Merry Christmas yet, but um, yeah, Merry Christmas. It's raining on this Christmas. It is not snowing or sunny today. So we're gonna insert the base plate. So um, I noticed my buddy Ken from Shave Shave 326. He was letting this go at a fantastic price and I cannot help myself. I've been wanting to try this razor for quite some time now. So that's exactly what we're gonna do. So let me just get this torque down and we are good to go. You can kind of see the blade exposure there. So yeah. <clears throat> so I actually had a plan to use my Talon Steel Mary set because um, I ordered that on Thanksgiving, but hasn't arrived yet. So it is what it is. It's been a month, exactly a month that hasn't arrived. So hopefully USPS shows up one day with that because there's no tracking from Canada. Um, I did order some PAA Christmas sets too, but they haven't arrived yet. So we're gonna go with the ultimate backup, the one and only Barrister and Man Vespers. Fantastic scent. You guys seen me use this on the channel before. Declaration B6, Dogwood. Yeah, um, I love the scent. It's very, balsam cranberry forward and the background is moose to sacks i'd say is there any other scent notes oh there's fern i don't really i guess i pick up the fern not really those are the three main things maybe it's like a supporting note but um definitely not definitely not uh on the forefront of the scent like don't buy it because it's fern <laughs> Well, actually, I don't think you could buy it, but Will from Barrister and Man did say he's bringing it back next year, so that's good news. Um, I've been using this B6 for like the last three days straight because I'm just absolutely loving it. I don't know if it's because my face is sensitive or or what, but I'm just always reaching for this. Um, this is kind of like what I wanted. This is kind of what I wanted out of B6 when I first tried it, but didn't get it, and now I'm loving it. I even found it to be actually less soft than my B5 because it's not as jelly as my B5. My old B6 was more jelly, so that one was technically softer, but I'm actually enjoying this more, so. So Excelsior, this is the Excelsior base. I find that this base takes a little bit longer for me to dial in than other soaps. For example, um, a lot of vegan soaps like Saponificio, uh, 
grooming department, Kairos, uh, PAA, CK6, if you don't look too heavy. Um, that could all, because that could also take a ton of water. Um, but other than that, this is a fantastic base. Very dense. This actually, the scent, fun fact, this is the scent that debuted the base Excelsior. I think it was back in 2018, I think. So he revealed the base with this scent. So um, talk about leaving a mark, releasing a banging base with a banging scent. That's just awesome. It could take a lot of water, that's for sure. Yeah, but this B B6 has a very light scrub to it. Um, it's still very soft. Um, I'm going to have to compare it to my B7 uh, as my skin starts to heal from being acclimated to shaving more. It has been getting better. So, all right, we're pretty much good. Um, if I need to add water, I'll do it on the second pass. Yeah, but I hope you guys are going to be, hope you guys uh, have safe Christmas today. It's pretty good. You spend time with your family if you're able to. Um, that's kind of the idea. Um, just kind of be thankful. But yeah, we'll see how this uh, razor goes. I am thankful to Ken for selling me this razor. So it's got a little bit of blade feel. Yeah, I'd say um, so far, it's like mid aggressive. It's still pretty smooth, it seems. I don't know if you guys could hear that. We're getting some decent audio feedback here. But yeah, I, have, I love black line razors. They just, they do a stellar job. I have not tried the Tradir, but I have tried the Vector. I've tried the black line Dart. What else did I try? The Blackbird. All fantastic razors. I had to let go of the dart, it was way too aggressive for me. It might be the most aggressive razor I've ever tried now that I think about it. Yeah, I'm really thinking hard. I've never tried the R41 though, so um, don't plan to. <laughs> Tim Shaves seems to be loving that R41 of his though. Many people who own R41s tend to love them. I don't think I ever heard anyone say, I hate the R41. Not many. Wow, this, this razor is surprisingly smooth. The first pass, the beginning of the first pass, I was getting a lot more bleed feel. But now it's just like, I guess I just had to get that angle down. We'll see how it goes against the grain. Still learning how to shave my whole face, it feels. Awesome. Wow, look at the stubble on that. This razor is mowing it down. Yeah, and uh, lathering with this soap is just providing a luxury experience. So let's feel around here. Yeah, so pretty smooth with the grain. Against the grain, I still get some stubble. But so far, so good, guys. All right, let's get ready for the second pass. I will say it is kind of rather refreshing that I don't have to shape up my beard because it is cumbersome and it can be time consuming. <laughs> Even though I enjoyed it, it is nice to switch things up, so to speak. So we'll see. I added a ton of water for that second pass. We'll see if it can take it. No doubt in my mind that Excelsior can, so. Yep, it's taking it. 
I know software could definitely take it, which has the same ingredients as Excelsior. So, this is just a fantastic scent. I highly recommend you guys pick it up next year um, when it's released, or if you see it on VST, definitely pick it up. Cranberry is very forward. You get the balsam, and the Moose de Sax is absolutely beautiful. Moose de Sax is basically a recreation of a scent that's over 100 years old and will recreate it and he did a masterful job if you're interested in that and you're not really a fan of balsam or cranberry i would look into picking up lavanel by barrister and man you might be able to get uh, samples from maggards but they're always sold out so don't count on it <laughs> But yeah, let's get back to the razor. I don't want to take too long. All right. What I do appreciate about this razor is you don't have to hold it at a crazy angle like a lot of the um, razors back in the day. You kind of got to hold it like this, but here you could just kind of hold it at a 45 degree angle, which in my opinion is a little bit more natural and makes it easier to find the angle. But damn, so far, I could see why Jeremy made this his goat. Fantastic razor so far. You can definitely feel the thicker blade. Like, um, it reminds me of an artist club blade. I think it's actually even thicker, but Kind of reminds me of having the same um, thickness and feel, smoothness and sharpness the Feather Club would have for the Artist Club. But you know, look at that. A second pass. Um, but uh, what was I going to say? But it's obviously less wide. Um, uh, I also did pick up the Occam's Razor. As you can see, I didn't use it yet. The Artist Club uh, blades are much wider. But these are probably similar similar in terms of thickness. Um, so yeah, there's that. I'm just gonna paint this on. Lather's pretty much dialed in at this point. Paint in some water. Yeah, but to me this scent is so enjoyable that I can Never get sick of it after doing all these passes. I could definitely go back to it in the winter, which I sh wish I had more. But yeah, let's finish this. Whew. Very close, guys. I could definitely see why this is Jeremy's goat. I'm not sure. I, I'm not sure why this didn't really seem to impress Ken. Well, I think he just didn't give it a chance. He just was trying a ton of razors, which I do the same thing, but. Pretty dope. Doesn't seem to be a problem with the residual slickness. My hair grows in 
all sorts of direction it seems. I'm gonna be using a straight razor at least once or twice a week. I'm just waiting for my skin to heal after the beard off. It's been a few days, but it's, it's getting slowly getting better. But um, yeah, so I wanna work on my technique and see how that goes. Sorry about that, got a phone call. Um, what was I saying? Here we go. I had no idea what I was saying, guys. Oh yeah, I said I was gonna be using a straight razor, try to use it um, once a week, once or twice a week at least, so I can kind of work on my technique. So. I'm kind of just doing a clean up pass right here. I feel confident how smooth this razor is. It is still picking up stubble. It You get like a little, so uh, despite my initial impression, you get like a little bleed feel, I'd say like three out of 10 on the lower side of aggressive, like just enough to feel it, but it's like thick and comfortable, but it's still like very, very smooth. No problem. Under the nose. I wouldn't say it's as maneuverable as my vector, but um, since it doesn't have a crazy wide head, it does have some advantages actually. So. All right, so we're pretty much done. I don't wanna push it too much. Actually, hold on. Let me finish this pass, this cleanup. I've been neglecting my neck ever since. Started shaving my face. There you go. This razor is extremely comfortable. I like it. Angle is super easy to find. Well, here it's. This is a fantastic Christmas shave, guys. I'm loving it. Vespers from Barrister and Man. Good shit, guys. Hopefully they bring it back next year. They will. Will said he did. So I saw him say that on one of the forums. Forgot which one, but we do have the Magic Splash. Gonna mix it with some Zingari. Actually, let me feel real quick here. Wow, this is the closest shave I've gotten since I've shaved my uh, beard. Do get some stubble here a little bit. Nice. Cool. Uh, very, very close, guys. This is the closest shave I've ever gotten in three, four days. I'm very impressed. And if what Jeremy says is true, at least on his growth, that you could get 25 shades out of one bleed, call me super impressed. Um, awesome shade with the black one saber. That's just the first impressions, but we'll use it more. For the post shave, we'll go with that Vespers splash in the Delta space mixed with Zingari rescue potion. Not much burning. Guys, this this is probably one of the most enjoyable shaves I've gotten in a while, so. Thanks for watching, guys. Um, we use Dogwood, Saber, and Vespers. Um, hope you guys have a safe uh, weekend with your families. I'll try to upload again this weekend. We'll see how it goes. Um, Merry Christmas. If you don't celebrate Merry uh, Christmas, happy holidays. Uh, catch you in the next one. Peace.